All right. Uh, you can um, see here. My name is uh, my name. Well, I'm Beak Supreme, and I'm uh, making this video uh, like I should have a video about making um, an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi here. Um, this is my Raspberry Pi Model B. Uh, this is my first Raspberry Pi box that I made uh, about a month. I started working on it about a month ago, and I'm not. But it, it works. I mean, it fills its function. It's just not totally aesthetically finished yet. Uh, so I'm making a. Um, I'm making. Um, I'm making another uh, Raspberry Pi box. Um, some things I don't like about this is this um, this little window here is recessed. I think I'm going to make it more flush with that, uh, so I don't have to do these notches. I can just make a hole. Um, it's a little bit too wide, but it's tolerable. It's a little bit too big. Uh, yeah, this the hole's a little bit too big. Uh, mainly the, the problem with this this works for the Raspberry Pi. It works pretty good. It's just when I go to to uh, do a lighting system um, using LEDs, I, I just don't have enough room in the top here um, to add in perhaps maybe a battery pack or to add in what whatever I want to do. And um, so, uh, um. I mean, really, this is two Super Nintendo cartridges. Uh, Super Nintendo cartridge. The Raspberry Pi is two of them stacked up high, and, and the top is not on this, but it's a little bit taller. Um, and that works for Raspberry Pi. That's enough room for the Raspberry Pi itself and using this as a computer box. But if I'm going to add any other types of electronics, it's just not tall enough, so that's why I'm, I'm thinking about adding another cartridge height give them a little more room for the heat to dissipate, but this is two Super Nintendo cartridges stacked up and it fits in a shirt pocket or in most other types of pockets and that's, that's good, that's, that's the goal I wanted to go for, but it's like I don't know, they're just not adequate in every way and maybe I might give up the shirt pocket ability in order to get a little more extra height and put in lighting systems and do other things It'll just make it more easier and a little less claustrophobic plus I filled this up with with stuff and I won't I don't think I'll do that next time I, I know more of what I want to do um, and uh, so uh, that's what I'm going to do with this one here I'm going to move the camera to where you can see um, the, uh, the the working area a little bit better and I'm going to show you the process how I go about making a uh, Raspberry Pi box um, and uh, you'll see I got some empty or uh, some blank uh, well I got some Super Nintendo cartridges here uh, they're just they're empty um, I take them apart I got some of these. I got some fluorescent paint, uh, glow in the dark paints, and so forth. Um, need a hot glue gun. Uh, that's what I have here. Just any hot glue gun will really do. Uh, there's my other stick. Um, I have a Dremel Multi Pro goes from 5,000 to 35,000 RPM which is useful and if you can see it uh, if you can see this it has lighting in it uh, little LEDs and the higher the RPM the brighter they are and uh, so that's always good when you're working on these projects and basically all I've done the, the first step is, well, you use a tool. I got a special tool for this. And I will grab it very quickly. Oh. Let's 
disappointing. I lost a bunch of my screws. Um, not that I actually really need them. And uh, let's move that camera a little bit more. Okay. Mm. I'll elevate this a little bit. That way I'll have more space in the frame of the picture. Alright, this is probably what I should have done. All right. Now, again, I have a second person to uh, to assist me with this. But okay, I got my um, got my items here, <laughs> and uh, just in case you want to know who I am, I'm about Beak Supreme, and. Uh, this is my tool right here. It's 3.8 millimeter. Um, takes well, fits into just about any screwdriver. I got it for this screwdriver, and it takes the uh, little screws out of the Super Nintendo cartridges. Like that's a special tool. You won't find it at a hardware store. Uh, very few items use this, so that's one of the reasons why you won't find it anywhere. There's not enough need for uh, such a tool to be on the market. And uh, general distribution, you have to order them. All right, first thing is, you take apart your Super Nintendo cartridge, just use uh, this tool and your screwdriver, and you take out the screws. That's it. And what you do is um, take your Dremel. The reason why you'll need your, your Dremel is you'll need to cut out this here, and you'll need to cut these out here, okay? What I'm going to do next. That's pretty simple. Now, if you hear any music or any dialogue or anything else other than me, that is not me. Uh, I have neighbors next door in the other apartment. Uh, I don't really know who they are. They listen to loud music sometimes. It doesn't bother me because I use power tools, so I don't think it's really an issue. I'm just saying for copyright purposes on YouTube and all that, hey, if, if the MPAA or RIAA, you know, like, stay off my back because it's totally si silent right here in my apartment. The only sounds you'll really hear is the sound of my tools and the sound of my voice uh, coming from within my room. I don't have the TV on or anything like that. It's not like I'm trying to play a movie or a song and violate copyrights or whatever. So, you know, go pet some, all right? Okay, now the purpose, keep in mind, the purpose of this video is not to bootleg anybody's music or movies. It's just to show how to make this pie box.
the second step. Let me see how much time is on this camera. We got about 10 minutes. Alright. Alright, and that's just to make our blank. Uh, this is the bottom part of the Super Nintendo cartridge. Uh, notice you can still fit the top on. It's unmodified. Just uh, the original game won't fit in there so well now because it won't have anything to hold on to. Now, next step, you take your uh, pocket knife. You just notch this out so things will fit good. Okay. And I have it totally silent in here other than the sound of my voice and other than the sound of my power tools in here. And I'm doing that um, so you can hear my voice well in this tutorial. And keep in mind I am Beak Supreme, known by my real name in real life as Christian Noggle. And um, this is for the organization, or what will become hopefully a company, called Beaklebotics. Alright, that's the first step there, and I worked on this just a little while ago, an hour ago or whatever. And I just take these uh, these mirror mounts here. Uh, you buy these at uh, Walmart, and they're the adjustable plastic type. And um, what I do is, all I did was take them, and while I take the, the Raspberry Pi, and then I take the board, and I, se I just set it on here and see where it needs to be in terms of left and right. Just orient it in the middle. And while I'm doing that, I set it on top of a couple of these. Now, I was just using these um, to, um, in, in this, this pie box right here, my first one, what I did was I would set them like this, um, and, uh, And what I was using them is merely like a boundary, and I would set the Raspberry Pi flat on there like this, and I would just take um, these uh, these little mounts here, and I would set them like this, and set them like that. Um, yeah, and like. Um, I believe it was uh, like this, the first one, and uh, that's where I did. And I would glue them in there, I'd hot glue them uh, standing vertically like this, and I didn't really leave any space for my Raspberry Pi to stand up off. Keep in mind, you see the height of the SD card. Various things contribute an inconsistency to the height here so it won't sit level or whatever. And that's why with my latest one I'm working on for this month of October. Today is October, uh, was it 4th or 5th? And why not here? And see that calendar. Today is uh, Friday, October 5th of 2012. And I am working on this here. And um, all I did was just simply position the Raspberry Pi sitting on a couple of, of these little things. Um, position it where it sits on a couple of these, and then I uh, I hot glue these into place. Um, these mirror mounts, and I use them because they're cheap for about two dollars. You can get a pack of them, and they're made of plastic, so they can they do not conduct electricity, and that is the main reason I use them. Okay. Um, I'll show you what three Super Nintendo cartridges stacked high will look like in the end product. Uh, they hinge on like this. No. Oh yeah, because that. So that's not going to be valuable. It's not going to be good. And I'll show you what two of them looks like. Well, no, wait, I can show you. I believe I've got this Star Fox. Well, get that screw in there. But anyway, 
I'll show you what two of them look like. That dog you might hear howling in the background is not mine. That's outside. I don't have any pets. Two cartridges. Now, they're not perfect, so i got to cut this all out. Um, but that gives you an idea of the height. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, i got to go to the store today and get some more of these uh, little mounts because they, they work out really good. And it's... See, there's no official way to mount the Raspberry Pi. It never came with um, any type of mounting uh, capability in it. So, um, you have to find a way. See, I just set that on top of there. And tack that down with the, uh, with the glue gun. The trim will need to get out of the way. And tack that down with the, uh, with the glue gun. Just put a little bitty dot of uh, hot glue there. And uh, let it cool. And that's expected to hold it into place. As well, a matter of fact, I could move it a little bit. I will move that over a little bit so it's out of uh, the way of the HDMI. And I might add a little more hot glue on the other side to hold it. Alright. Yeah, I believe that's going to do it right there. And you want to fit fairly snug. Well, actually, I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit because um, when I go to paint this, I um, don't want any issues with, um, with that. Um, but then again, um, well, you know, it can fit snug for now because, um, well, the paint, keep in mind, the paint is going to take up some space. Um, much time I got on my uh, camera right now to uh, wipe out this SD card. And okay, I got about three minutes. I also need to come up with a Beeklebotics organization or company logo. Dylan Cox, a uh, friend of mine, he uh, he come up with Beeklebot and then I come up with the name Beeklebotics just because it sounds like it's technological and all that. I wanted something that sounded kind of cool but yet kind of stupid at the same time. So that's um, Beeklebot, uh, Beeklebotics, you know, basically kind of fits. So you see I'm positioning that right there. And then I'm going to uh, kind of glue that down. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. Gun falls over. Cool the hot glue. Now you see these mirror mounts. They stand it up off the surface of the uh, of the. Uh, it's standing up. It's not you know. It's standing up on these things. It's not sitting all the way down. And. That's good because it elevates it and allows for air to get underneath the board and to help cool it. Um, I'm going to have to grind this one down a little bit to level that because these pins stick out underneath uh, from the GPIO header pins of the Raspberry Pi. And because of these little, um, well, because of these little things here, you see how they work? It looks kind of like a Z or um, something like that uh, because of how they work. Um, the the Pi board sits on there and then this sticks up a little bit and keeps it from moving. So it's two in one action right there. And uh, that's good. That's what I want. Um, found, I'm finding different ways to use these and uh, to get the results that I want. And they're cheap. They're, they're like 
two dollars or less at the hardware store. You, you should not be paying any more than three dollars for these things. Um, now, they might have them at some hardware stores, um, and I'll give you an update on the brand later. It doesn't matter, they're just adjustable mirror mounts. And of course, they got to be plastic. But the reason why I go to Walmart is just because they're open all hours of the night or day. We got a couple hardware stores in the town where I live, and they got some good stuff. It's just their hours are not the best for me. Okay, now this is in place there. I can begin to glue it more. And just use hot glue to hold it in place. That door shutting was the 